what's up guys today we are going to talk about fear fear can make a lot of very very smart people not very successful they're not willing to take the risk fear is like the biggest challenge to me personally because you know i'm not a freaking genius you know i'm not a ivy league college graduate i got some discount education here in oklahoma right <laughs> so you don't always feel like you're prepared when you walk into a bank meeting when you walk into a real estate meeting when you try to start up a new business that you may or may not know anything about there's fear in literally every decision and everything and day in and out what we do i mean i don't know about you sometimes you walk in there and seem pretty confident well i think confident comes with with time right and you know the initial issue that I had was I'm bad about overthinking. You can't overthink it too much because you can talk yourself off that ledge over and over and over again. For me, it fears the devil not want you to succeed. He puts that into you. He doesn't want you to take the risk. He doesn't want you to succeed. He wants you to be mediocre and, and fail. So fear can do that. Yeah. It can make you not take those leaps. There's a lot of times I have been move on an opportunity and because I was scared yeah. what if what you know happens? what happens the if factor you can if yourself out of a lot of good opportunity and I've done it many of times folks and there's a lot of opportunities that I passed up because I was fearful and they went ahead and pushed it forward and I missed the boat and the boat just continued to sell and I missed it when you're scared of something and you want to overcome it eventually you got to face it head on and don't be afraid to face some of your fears head on. You know, there's been a lot of times that I've taken out loans and, you know, what, what, what if this client doesn't pay me, then I can't pay the bank back. What if, you know, I didn't calculate this on this Excel spreadsheet the correct way and then I'm negative income. What if, you know, this is not a good idea. You know, what if I don't have enough money? What if I'm not smart enough? What if, what if, what if those are all your fear factor words, you know, that have held so many smart entrepreneur, potential entrepreneurs back. And we'll probably come back to this topic because I'm sure we're missing a lot of things. And I'm sure you guys are going to comment on here and express some of your fears on this video and which we'd love to hear about. Um, because I'm sure we share a lot of the same fear factors in a lot of different ways. Like, I mean, you can be fearful of different types of animals. Believe it or not, I'm fearful of snakes. I hate snakes. It doesn't just have to be in the entrepreneurship world that you're fearful. It can be anything. It could be animals. It could be dark like me. Sometimes I get fearful of that, taking out the trash too. I don't know what happened, but fear can overtake you in a lot of different ways in, in pretty much every aspect of your life. You know, fear of making the right decision when you know that's a hard choice to make right been there done that so you know fearful of taking on a new partner and a new adventure you know you may or may not know them as well as you should or hope to before you take on this marriage of partnership and you take the leap that's a fear factor eric you and i would never be where we are today if fear took over our decision making for sure i'll tell you something interesting um is once you've made that step and you start gaining your confidence and, and things are working your way um, fear is an interesting thing. It's like you've learned how to calculate and then the amount of fear actually goes down with time. With the amount of information that you've learned, the amount of mistakes that you've made that you've learned from, um, your initial fear is probably going to be the most, right? The, the most prevalent fear is right at the very beginning. But as you start getting the ball rolling and you start figuring out what works and what doesn't work, that fear factor really depletes in my mind. If you've heard my previous story, I failed in the past, but failing didn't really matter to me. It was, I've, I've, I've made some mistakes, I've learned from them. Now let's wait for the next opportunity to jump again. So if you come into it with that mindset, you can still have some fear and some fear is a good thing. But at the end of the day, you want to be able to know in, in your own mind that if you do take this 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 leap, this jump, right, in entrepreneurship, and it doesn't work out, make sure you understand what you did wrong, and then know that you're going to be going at it again at your next opportunity. Keep going. Don't let fear get in the way. Do your studying. Do your homework, and never give up. And go kill it. Do it, and go kill it.